In this video, I will be demonstrating how, how to run a whole program again using while loops. And the code for this program is from video 16 titled, let the user decide how many times the for loop will run to get multiple user input. So this video is a response to one of the comments that I got on video C++15. The question says, can we run the whole program in a loop as we want many times. What I understand from this video is if you've got a whole program, such as for example this or any program, and you want to run that multiple times until the, the user decides they don't want to uh, keep going. So from my understanding, if that's what you wanted, let's go ahead and do it. So we'll start off by declaring a character um, variable called run again. <coughs> We then will use do loop, a do loop, and what we'll do is we'll cut off all of this and put it inside our our loop. I need to just fix the indentation slightly. So that's So now everything is in a do. Now we need to end our condition while something. But So initially, this whole program, and you can do this on any program, but I've just specifically chosen the code that we've got in C++15 because that's where the question came to. All right, so here we want to, at the end of this program, we want to ask the user <coughs> if they would like to run the program again. And then we want the result to go into that character run again. Okay. Now here we want to check if that run again is equal to a y and we need to terminate our while condition with a semicolon now let's compile and run and see we'll keep it in mind that we're using c in before so sorry we use c in the last time and if we choose to run again the next time we're gonna use get line this might run us into issues let's see how that works so initially, if we said the name is test, how many numbers would you like to enter? Let's do four. So that's just how the program really worked. And it gives us an average. Here's what we've added to it. Would you like to run the program again? And if I say yes, and I hit enter, it doesn't ask the user to, uh, that's another thing. So it doesn't really ask us to enter the name. Because what really happens here is we are using C in and then we're using so this really takes one character and then when we hit and um, enter that's really a new line so it's it's still in the buffer so then when we hit that git line again it will just consume that new line assuming that's the user's name so what we want to do is we want to ignore whatever's in this we want to ignore basically that new line. So this will consume the new line. Let's run it again, compile and run. So here the name is test, how many numbers? We say one, two, three, and four. Now we want to play again, yeah, let's say yes. Test two says I want to enter three numbers. We get the average. You want to run the program again, yes. Test three says I only want two numbers one and two, and then we will say yes one more time, and test four says I want to put in uh, just one number, which will just give me that same result. Do you wanna not run the program again? I'll say N for no. Now it'll be good to tell the user sort of, is a, sort of a, a, a um, you know, a, a tip on what they need to enter, so Y or N. Okay, so that's about it. In the next video, we'll talk about how we can turn 
uh, how, how this will work if the user types in a Y instead of a small Y. So stay tuned.